This is the White House Cabinet Room. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Francis Carpenter. I'm a painter who's been given the run of the White House for the last several months in order to capture this scene for posterity. Actually, this is Mr. Lincoln's office, which the cabinet shares once a week or whenever the president feels need of their counsel. Of course, a president does receive all kinds of counsel, sought and unsought. For example, you probably just came from the downstairs kitchen. No doubt you heard plenty of counsel there. Well, Washington is a town full of gossip, and sometimes it's true. Strictly between us, the president is working on a secret document, one that could redefine overnight the very meaning of this terrible war. Up until now, we've been fighting over the rights of states. The president's come round to the view that human rights should take precedence over states' rights. Slavery caused this war. And more and more, people believe the war won't even end unless slavery ends. Truth be told, the president would even prefer to compensate slaveholders. That way he can hold on to slave states like Kentucky, Maryland, Missouri. But events are already in the saddle, as he is the first to acknowledge. By the fall of 1862, the question is less whether to issue an Emancipation Proclamation, but when. Secretary Seward pointed out that to do so without a strong military victory to back it up could leave the impression of desperation, the final act of a dying regime. And given his generals, the president could almost be forgiven for believing that to be a tall order. Still, he saw the wisdom of Seward's counsel. General McClellan just turned back Lee's invasion of the North at Antietam. Victory enough for Mr. Lincoln, who promptly declared his intention to issue the proclamation on New Year's Day, 1863, if the southern states remained in a state of rebellion. Of course, this being a democracy, there was another debate to play out. The untidiest, perhaps. The noisiest, for sure. What began in the White House kitchen and continued to the presidential office would soon be reflected by ordinary Americans who wanted their voices heard before their president took this momentous step. The emancipation debate rages, and you are invited to sample it in the next hallway.